I haven't brushed my hair. <laughs> right, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I haven't brushed my hair. John, I've definitely not brushed John my hair. John definitely hasn't brushed his hair. <laughs> it's officially autumn. I'm back to wearing jumpers. Uh, it's very sad, it's a sad day. But we are back in the workshop working on the new Triumph project. It, ha it needs a name, really, doesn't it? It's a tiger. The bike is a tiger. Well, that's down to you. The raw, the raw project. <laughs> the raw? <laughs> oh, like a tiger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully you can do better than that, John. Oh, John's clearly not very good at giving oh, bikes names. The spot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there you go. First job. Leave us a comment. What's this project going to be called? Uh, you've seen the first video where we actually tore the whole bike down. Um, that very quickly escalated from just getting it running to now we're left with a bike in a plastic tub in the corner of the workshop. <laughs> but the rebuild has started. In this video, we are going to get the front end, the forks, completely rebuilt. Um, confession time for John. <laughs> so in, in the last video, we end up tearing everything apart. Everything. M more than we expected to. And it got very late. And we started taking the forks apart. And that may have been a little while ago, and a lot's happened since then. So. <laughs> We've got quite a few components. We've had a pile of bits in the corner of the workshop. I've been trying to source parts and get new parts during this time. Um, a lot has happened since that time. And now we've just got a load of bits laid out on the table that neither of us can actually remember how it goes back together. <laughs> or how it came apart. <laughs> or how it came apart. So this is going to be a journey of discovery for all of us. <laughs> we have got a workshop manual. Well, two, actually. The bike came with a couple of manuals that we've been, we'll study first. Um, but yeah, let's see if in this video we can get the, at least the forks rebuilt. Um, so we've got one leg in taken pre, apart. In absolutely pieces. disassembled. One partially disassembled, but still mostly together. So I think my job is, I can see what's coming. <laughs> I'm you be, guess, you guess what you I'm going to be cleaning all the stuff. All the well, you, stuff. Are, you are very good at cleaning stuff. You can tear this one down. We will tear this one down just to refresh our memory on the Where procedure. The, yeah, um, pay attention. And we know we need to replace seals, don't we? So that'd be interesting. They have to get that part. Yeah, without damaging it. Um, hopefully it will just fall out. And then there's a tray over there with nuts and bolts and everything else. This is random. Through. Random stuff. Right, you got it? Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's definitely been off before. It's well chewed up. Yeah. Someone didn't use the right tool, did they? No, they didn't. You say I'm weak when I'm being kind. I'm ripping out pages, reading your mind. Oh, and there's the oil. We knew that was coming. Oh, brilliant. Let's yes. go. It's making all the right noises. <laughs> oh, hey. hey! There it is. I think we may have been a little bit squashed. That's very helpful. It's all starting to come back to me now. The nightmare. <laughs> the vision. I really didn't want to have to rebuild the forks, but the we can now show you the, the main reason, or the actual reason why We've had to go to these lengths to rebuild the forks is because of the stanchions these should be polished like chrome basically they're chrome plated uh, and all this pitting and rust and damage on the actual surface as they slide up and down when we're riding over the uh whilst we're riding over the dirt jumps on the beach I'll show you before and after, don't this I? is going to be going in and out and there's a seal around there that holds the oil and that rough surface in no time at all will completely, even if, even if we change the seals and put new seals on, they'll just get chewed up and they'll start leaking and cause problems. So the solution to this is no stanchion. New stanchions. Look at them. Beautiful. This one's absolutely pitted so bad. Even the bush won't slide up and down it. So now we've got it completely taken apart. The process is going to be clean up the fork lowers, the actual housings, they're fine. Clean up the nuts and bolts that we need to to put it back together. I've got some new bolts, new seals, new stanchions, new rubber gaiters, new clips, all the new parts that we need. And I'm slightly nervous at this point that the bits are going to be wrong. 
the length of the stanchions, the thread of the nuts, the diameter of the gaiters, there's the seals, the o-ring seals that go in there. There's a lot, that, and I'm fairly new to all of this, so there's a lot here that could go wrong. And the only way we're gonna find out is clean everything up that we need to keep, lay it all back out and try and get all this back together, basically. Is that actually lifting the paint off as well, Dom? Yeah. If you had any sense, I think you'd agree That you all are the patience, I'm all out of me Time to cut my losses and cut all time Now there's crocodile Right, after lots of polishing and cleaning and degreasing, <laughs> whilst John's been eating his lunch. No, no. John's extended lunch break. Um, we're there, we've got, I've been working on degreasing and cleaning and buffing on the polisher. John has been taking apart seals and cleaning bits up and getting everything ready, finding washers and stuff like that. One side finished and laid out. So I thought I'd lay it all out on the bench Well, John's laid it all out so you can actually see all the components before we put it all back together. These, were painted silver. And I was kind of staring at it for a while, thinking, why is it so shiny? I thought they were cast aluminium. Um, and I confused myself, and John, gratefully, uh, <laughs> steered me on the right path. It's a cast alley bottom bit, that little nubbin at the bottom. The rest of it is steel that's been chromed. And the previous owner had painted it silver, which you can't do. Anyone watching? You can't paint over chrome. You can't, can you? <laughs> no, not, it's not going to stay on. It doesn't matter what long. primer you do. It doesn't matter if you try it, if you sand it down, if you use an etch primer. You can't successfully paint, well, not as far as I'm aware of. Well, you, you can paint it on there, but chances yeah. of it staying there are quite... True. Yeah, you can paint it, but it's going to peel straight off again, which is exactly what this did. As soon as the degreaser touched it, all of that sort of metallic silver paint just came off. I've just buffed up the original chrome, uh, which what's is left of it, yeah. what's left of it. There are quite a lot of areas where it's left us, but... I quite like that. Fits with the way we're going with the bike, the look of the bike. So that's the original chrome with chunks missing. But it looks good. <laughs> Cooking with John. Cooking with John. What's on the menu today? John and Dom. Cooking. Today we are doing a nice little fork dish. Oh. You have to be careful how you say that. A oil. A jus. Uh, a fork a, oil. A, yeah. A, a, a nice race 20 WT. Jus. Jus. And um, some seals. Some seals, yeah. Lots of seals, lots of springs. Oh, oh, nice. Bushing uh, and a side of... Rubber gaiters. Rubber gaiter. Right, so I'm gonna... Some jus. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Basted. All right, I think it's already had a good basting by the looks Oh, like. hang on, the Ranala sign's not on. What? Hey! Yay! Hey. <sighs> there we go. That's, a, that's about my luck, mate. Right. Now, obviously, how pointless is to... This seal was damaged anyway and leaking, so we need to get that on there. I'm going to feed it this way, which is the preferred choice. Going with the seal. Choice so of champions. Hopefully, nice and careful. That's it. All right, we can forget about that now. He's out of the way. Now then, Dom, we need to make our kebab. Oh, it's a kebab dish. It, yeah, it's not a donner, it's a shish. <laughs> Spacer. A bit of pepper, red pepper. Bottom bush. A bit more jus. A bit more. Well, that has had a, it's had a bit of a life. Get him on there. Looks like someone, that's, that's some, it. someone may have made that themselves. Easy. Wee! Lovely. Brand new nut. Okay, look at that. It looks delicious already. Hold fire there. Let's go and tighten that up. Um, Spring. Well, tubing outer first. Sorry? I'd say put the stanchion in the outer, in the fork lower. Yeah, well, that's what you would say, isn't it, Dom? Look. What? Popped out oh, the bottom. Oh, lovely. There he is. Guess what? Oh, yeah. 
I think it is that time, Don. Got some Jew in there. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a good start. Oh. Huh. Oh. Yeah, we don't want that to pop off there, do we? No. We'll be doing all that again. All right, that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. That, that needs a little bit of encouragement. A bit of persuasion. Perfect. Self-clearanced. I'm glad I actually read that. Okay. Because our little drain plug. Yeah. That goes in here. Yeah. When you put that in, this, which I wasn't aware of, this little cut out. Oh, it has to locate. Has to locate in to there. Stop it and that stops this from turning. Ah. Yeah, so if we'd have just done that up and then put the plug in, the drain plug probably wouldn't have gone home. Oh, just smashed it in the wrong way. Yeah. So hopefully, have a little, have a little test and now backed it off and see if that wants to go home. He goes in here. And if that keyway's in the right place, that should go home. Now we can, yep, yeah, we'll tighten that up. It can't spin. We have built up that whole kebab and then it slid in and then we put our collar with the seal. We have to redo it all. We have to redo the whole thing. And I've just screwed this on and we locked it off with another one of our Special granddad's tools. Granddad tool to the rescue, which allowed us to talk that down. So now the, bro the, the bronze bushes are in, the aluminium bushes bronze bush in there. Bronze spaces in there. The spring. Locked in at the bottom. The spring's in there. Spring. The uh, new seal. The new seal is in the middle there. We'll show you how we press that one in a minute because we have to uh, have to work that one out as well. But Yeah, and that, then now you've gone for the gator. The gator has slid on just because I wanted to see if it fitted, because we've got a few choices on the bench. Yeah, I did struggle yeah. with the gators. Uh, these were the first option. You'd obviously, did, no, no. No, the, that's, that, yeah, that's the last option. This was the first option, but way too big. Second option, just look wrong. I think they're pre-war, they look like very early ones. Pre-unit, I think they are. Then found these ones. They seem okay. I think and to be fair, they seem good because this was our original, isn't it? It's our, our pattern. Yeah. Yeah. So the original on the left. Well, was, that's what came off. Whether that's who knows. Or that. Yeah. But that looks promising. It looks promising. Apart from that, bottom's got to go over that. Does yeah. it? Was it not? Yes, it has. It has got to get over there. Yeah. So we need to make that over there. Over there, or at least on there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've been debating what that hole is for. We just found out. Because the original one doesn't have it. And it's for filling it with oil. 75, all right, okay. 75 centiliters. This does create another problem though, Dom. Oh, we don't need problems, John. No, it's not a problem. You just said it was a problem. Well, it's a problem at the moment. How are we gonna get the oil in there? No, no, we put it down the tube before we put the end in. What's the problem? Well, what are we gonna put in that hole? Yeah, we'll just put a bolt in there, it's fine. Dom, this is cold. Now we need to put our top on to preload the, the spring. So that has to push down and wind into there. But obviously we're not gonna fully commit. knock that off because we need to put it through the headstock. But we, we don't Let's put, put it on there so we don't lose it and make a mess yeah, though. Just wind yard. it on so loose. We'll put it on there and we can see if it spring has sprung. All right, that's the first one together. I know we went off piece a bit, but we had to learn on the way, didn't we, Dom? Yes. And um, yeah, filming went a bit crazy for a minute there, but oh, it's together. It's doing what it should do. It's together. It's definitely together. Yeah, so um, now we just need to basically repeat that. Repeat that whole process. Hopefully, with all of that d there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry about the mess. <laughs> it yeah, got, it got a bit hectic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel 
feels like it. This is the dust cover, so it slides onto our, and then screws up. And that seal in there. Seals against the stanchion. Yeah, and hopefully stops it drawing all the oil out. Seems to be doing up nicely. I was given tools from um, an old boy that departed and that was in his collection. Was it a bike, it, off a push bike? Uh, no, I think that's a motorcycle. motorcycle. Probably one that he owned. Probably comes part of the kit when you bought it new. Second one was a lot easier. A lot quicker. A lot quicker. Yeah. The first one did fight us, but we did run into a few problems. We are in a very rare situation where we're ahead of time. Forks are done. Re both legs rebuilt. We can't put them together to look like a pair of forks because the actual yokes, it needs to be bolted to the frame before we can put these in. But that is what we needed to achieve today and in this video. And we've done it. And we've still got an hour or so to spare. Have so, we? Yeah. So we're going on to the front wheel. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a little play with it. We're gonna try and get that tire off. Well, yeah, what we should do is go to the tire shop and go. Can you take that off for us? And give them the tenner. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy. No messing. Far it's, too easy. Instead, we've got this concrete <laughs> tire. <laughs> it's rock hard. It's been on here forever, and we are going to attempt to remove it without damaging the wheel or ourselves. We may fail, but we're gonna have a go. This is down to my excitement levels again, because I, you know I bought those new tyres at Bewley a couple of weeks ago. I'm very excited to see them on the rim and hoping that actually we haven't even tried if they fit between the forks. Because the new tyres are really fat. But um, I, anyway, I'm just excited to get this bike on the road and if we can get that wheel off, we can't now on the weekend, all the tyre shops are shut. I've got some tyre levers, John's brought a tyre lever. <laughs> We're going to try our best to not injure ourselves, <laughs> get that tyre removed so I can clean up the rim, which actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe we'll have a look in the drum, see what's inside there. Let's stop talking and get to it. No. Oh, my God. We nearly failed at the first hurdle, didn't we, Dom? No. <laughs> yeah. We might have had to go and borrow some tooling just to get that. That, that was stubborn. It was very stubborn. But everything's nice and warm now. Go on, so. let's have a look in there. Well, it's easy to say that because it's hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, okay, there seems to be plenty of oil in there, Dom. There's the shoes, the brake shoes. Yeah. Oh. Very simple, very simple yeah. system. There's nothing to it. No, which is nice. The brake shoe has come away from the, look, so the line yep, has come away. We've got new so ones of those, don't worry about that. Thank God for that. And they've actually cracked there, look. Perfect. So if you were to oh, run, yeah. you could... Uh, that would delaminate. Yeah, we've got to be a bit careful because we don't know how old they are. There could be some... That's absolutely asbestos. Well, there could be, could be. Let's go and stick that on the side. Someone's definitely been there, Dom. Look at the state of that. Careful, Dom. Bit of string. What's that? Is that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that? Oh, come on now. That's very strange. I don't really fancy all that in my front brake. <laughs> it's a grease seal. Mm -hmm. No? Well, it's not one I'm familiar with, but there's a lot of grease in there. Is there anything in it? Oh, yeah. 50 year old air. It smells like 50 year old air. Yeah. Oh, it does. It's not pleasant. Oh, God. You're in. That'll do. I'm not oh, in. The end is in sight. No way, no way. Yes. 
Well, that's one off. Look at that. We gotta get Mr. Tubi out. Tubular. Still doing it with air in it. I could chop that. <laughs> He's trying to chop again, everyone. Go on, Don. There she be. Oh. Look, look at that monster. This is the first thing we've taken off the bike that's not absolutely rotten. Oh. Look at the rim. Look in there. Yeah, the bit you can't see look great. Well, at least I was expecting it to be full of water and rotten. Perfect. I thought we would just get the forks done, but we've got the forks and we've got that front tire removed. Both wheel bearings were knackered. Shoes I've already got. So I've got a shopping list of parts, shoes, bearings, uh, brake cable. In the next video, we're going somewhere special. We are going to Wales. Dan's coming along uh, and it's going to be a good episode. I can't wait to show you. It's bike related again. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.